In Cedar Valley and Box serve many refugee and immigrant communities. This includes uh, refugees from Burma who identity with Karenni, Korean, Chin, and other ethnic groups. Also many refugee and uh, immigrant from Congo communities. Since I have been in the United States, I never seen a more important time to get information to everyone. The governor sent a message to I once every day. Those who can speak English and are from here can have access to this information, but our community did not. I want just to emphasize one of the barriers that we have, like cultural barrier. So like uh, we used to live together, we like to be together. So that's how everyday lives. So when COVID hurt, and then they give us information how we can contact COVID, how we can prevent ourselves from contacting COVID. So the main barrier was my community like to digest those information, like the social distancing. It was one of the ways we can prevent ourselves from getting sick, but it, it was not easy for us to digest. We used the money to create like a helpline where people with 10 different languages where people can call with all the questions they have about COVID. So we use it also to hire like a case manager who is helping us follow up with some doctor appointment after the person is released and go home, what we come next. Also, we use the money to improve a little bit the direct services. We use it to do like a food distribution too, because some of the people, when they get COVID, they could not go outside, so they need somebody to bring them food at home. You know, most of our community, we came here looking for better life. Usually when you come here, we have nothing, so we start from zero. And when we start from zero, you don't have no options. I don't miss work because I don't have no choice, because that's how I have to make my life. Some of the challenges, they can be fixed. Some of them, they hard. We're trying, but if they can help us to fix what is fixable, that'd be great.